Okay, so this is the latest version of Ether Wars. We've been playing around with some new concepts here. You know, it started out as kind of a port of Inar Wars from the Tango to HoloLens. But in the process of exploring HoloLens' capabilities, I've come up with a few more features. That's kind of morphed from uh, a space real-time strategy game where you walk around the room and take over planets that are floating in midair to the type of game, almost like a StarCraft II type of thing, except the plays over your floor, you know, in, the, in, in, in your room. Um, still has the planets and air units, but also will have ground units and ground structures. So, uh, there's a couple of new features here. So for, first what we'll do is we'll scan the room. So we'll just create a mesh out of this room. Uh, you've seen this before. Um, it's actually not point cloud reconstruction. I actually went to Hollow Hacks. You might have seen a previous video and they explained how it works and it works in a little bit of a different, this meshing works in a bit of a different way than other uh, systems. But bottom line is the concept is the same. We're building a 3D model out of the room here. And what we'll do is we'll start placing ground units. So here we go, ready? Play. Now this is my base. Now you can see that the ground uh, plate is red, which means I can't, I can't place it. It's checking for two things. One of them is checking if the surface normal is pointing up, meaning we're on the ground. So you can see here that it knows we're on the ground. It's also making sure that the mesh is clear. So you can see I can't stick it inside this box. I have to put it in a clear space on the floor. Uh, just place it there. And now you can also see that it also makes sure that you can't intersect units. So we'll put this little, that's my base. And now we're putting this little power generator here and another power generator here. And now it's kind of cool. We kind of almost have like a little, little play set here, you know, like a little toy. It's almost like playing with action figures. So now we could take a look at the air units. Now this is a feature that I actually tried to do it in our wars in the tango, but the tango just really wasn't up to the task, uh, which is I'm going to create a portal in the wall and ships are going to fly out of the wall. Uh, this is actually kind of similar to project X-ray or whatever it's called now. Um, when I saw that, I was kind of like, damn, they did it before I could do it, but I was trying to do it on a tango, which it kind of wasn't possible. But you can see here, I pick any flat wall surface and I can go like this. And see a portal opens up and then Ships just start flying out of the wall. And right now, they don't really have anywhere to go. There's no target. But uh, yeah, like I've got a bunch of fighters flying around my room. And eventually, they'll have a place to go. They'll attack other air units. They'll drop bombs on ground units. So this game is kind of turning into almost like a combination of StarCraft II or something like that and playing with action figures in your room, you know? Uh, it's kind of cool. So the next, well, one of the next features I'm going to do is actually doing moving ground units. So we have these we have these air units here, but what we're going to do is we're going to make like a tank battalion or a couple tank units that will drive around this terrain using probably a star because you can't use Unity's um, navigation meshes on dynamic terrain. As far as I know, you have to bake it in the editor. So until the next video, um, this is Ether Wars for now and uh, you know, maybe I'll put up some tutorials. Some people have been asking for that. So, anyway, hope you like the video, and uh, I'll see you later.